Let's say you want to animate the main rotor of this helicopter. Select Rotation, then spin the main rotor. When the View Coordinate System is selected, the blades rotate at an awkward angle and pass through the body of the helicopter. The same happens when you select World. Press Ctrl Z to undo those rotations. Still in Rotation Mode, select the Local Coordinate System so that the rotation follows the angle at which the blades are placed. The blades no longer cut through the helicopter, but the rotation is not realistic. This is because an object rotates around its pivot point, which is marked by the center of the selected transform's gizmo. In this case, the pivot point is located off to one side. It would make more sense if it was at the center of the main rotor hub, the object's natural point of rotation in real life. Undo that rotation before you start to reposition the pivot. Right-click and choose Isolate Selection from the Quad menu. This temporarily hides unselected objects and unclutters a view. Go to the Hierarchy Command Panel and turn on Effect Pivot Only. The gizmo changes. When Effect Pivot Only is active, you can select the Move tool and reposition the pivot point without affecting the location of the main rotor. In this case, you simply want to place the pivot point at the center of the main rotor. Since this object is symmetrical, you can click Center to Object. That's much faster. Exit the isolation mode. Depending on how the main rotor is to be animated, you can choose to adjust the pivot point's location further. It's easiest to do this in an isometric view. Press F to switch to the front view. Press Z to zoom in on the main rotor. Zoom in more if you have to. Select Local Mode and move the pivot point to the base. When you're done, click Effect Pivot Only again to deactivate it. Press P to switch back to the Perspective view, then press Z again. Select the Rotation tool and spin the main rotor to see a realistic result.